If you clicked on this video, then you probably want to know a little bit more about Snapchat Spotlight and more specifically why it is so much harder to make money on Snapchat Spotlight than it used to be. I have been covering Snapchat Spotlight for a few years now. Honestly, almost at the very beginning when it first came out, I started making videos about it and I have experienced firsthand the downfall of this once very lucrative way to make money online. So this video in particular is going to cover the most recent Snapchat Spotlight monetization updates and why I feel that it outcasts almost all of its users and only gives money to already established creators and not allowing new creators to make anything from their content. So to get right into it, Snapchat Spotlight's new update only allows you to make money from qualifying snaps. And what are qualifying snaps? Well, in order to think about what qualifying snaps are, we must first think about what they aren't. And before when you would go and upload videos to Snapchat Spotlight, you could basically take your own TikTok videos or your own YouTube Shorts videos and just save them without a watermark and upload them to Snapchat Spotlight. And if they got views, you would then be eligible for payment. This honestly is how it works for every other platform such as Instagram Reels with Facebook. You can just take the content that you are already making for a different platform and then upload it to that new platform and you will be automatically eligible for monetization. However, Snapchat Spotlight had to throw a wrench in all these plans and wanted you to abide by a specific criteria in order for you to get paid for your Snapchats and that's what I'm going to talk about now. So I have gone through the liberty of reading through the Snapchat Spotlight's terms and conditions line by line just for you to let you know the important points of why you aren't getting paid for your spotlights and here in the terms and conditions this is exactly what it says to be considered a qualifying snap the snaps that you submitted during the eligibility period must include 10 unique snaps submitted in 10 different days and also consistent of at least five snaps utilizing snapchat's creative tools and these creative tools can be snapchat lenses filters or sounds anything specific to snapchat so there in and of itself is why you're not getting paid for the most part if you're just reposting your other content onto snapchat spotlight for some reason snapchat Spotlight has now made a requirement that you use their tools specific to Snapchat, such as their lenses, filters, and sounds before you're even eligible for payment. You could get a million views on your Spotlight submission, but you won't get paid a cent for it if you didn't first submit 10 different snaps on 10 different days, and then for five of those snaps, use one of Snapchat's creative tools. I find this personally a very bizarre way to monetize Snapchat because Snapchat is basically ostracizing users and making it much harder for their creators to share their content across multiple platforms. I feel that the whole goal here is to get more users on your platform and in order to get more users you have to have more engaging content and if you are completely disregarding any other content that may be posted on another platform because they didn't use your specific filters or lenses or sounds then many creators won't feel incentivized in order to make content on the platform at any rate they may disregard the platform altogether and then focus on other short form vertical platforms like TikTok and YouTube shorts and then the other requirement to be eligible for monetization with your qualifying snaps is that you have to have at least 1,000 views in order to be eligible for monetization. If you get 900 views in a day, not saying that it will earn all that much money anyway, but you wouldn't earn any money at all for that number of views because it wasn't above the 1,000 view requirement. And if that wasn't bad enough, I think that Snapchat Spotlight has put the nail in the coffin for small creators by making this next requirement. And the next requirement is that in order to be eligible for monetization, you must be a part of a group called qualifying creators. And I'm going to read off the terms and conditions once again so I know exactly what I'm talking about. But Snapchat itself says to be a qualifying creator, you must meet all of the following criteria, meaning that you must be a legal resident of an eligible country. Okay, that requirement is fair enough. You must also have your profile set to public. This one is self-explanatory. But then it says that your Snapchat account must be at least one month old and must have at least 1,000 followers. Okay, so for smaller creators who may have gotten their first viral video, won't be eligible to get any money unless they have 1,000 followers. Now, honestly, I am not too against this policy altogether because as we all know, YouTube implements a similar requirement to getting part of a YouTube partner program, which is that you must have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But the biggest issue I have with this is that YouTube, in contrast with Snapchat Spotlight, allows you a much better opportunity to build a community, to build an audience, to have a sort of fan base that you can interact with. And as far as Snapchat goes, you really don't have that robust of a network in order to require someone to have 1,000 followers. With YouTube, there are tools that creators can use in order to cater to the audience. You have the analytics, you can see the demographics, you can see the upload times. But with Snapchat Spotlight, like all you have is an upload button and a view count. There's no real way to know if you're optimizing how to grow. And if you don't know how to grow effectively or how to grow efficiently other than just upload more videos, then how are you supposed to realistically build an audience unless you are bringing an audience from another platform? I personally, when I use Snapchat Spotlight, do see a lot of famous creators on the stories tab, but I would be willing to say that maybe 80 or 90 or even 95% of those creators didn't build their audience initially on Snapchat. They probably built their audience on TikTok or maybe on YouTube and transferred 
them over to Snapchat. And I would be surprised if someone said that they got famous from posting on Snapchat Spotlight or just posting on Snapchat in general, because I believe that Snapchat doesn't give you the tools and doesn't have the platform necessary in order to actually build an audience from scratch. And if you can't build an audience from scratch on Snapchat, then your best bet to get monetized on Snapchat would be to go viral on TikTok or on YouTube first, and then recommend those users over to Snapchat to then start monetizing your content. But the catch 22 here is that if you have to go viral on a different platform to build an audience first, and you also have to create unique content to Snapchat in order to get monetized, you are basically gonna have to be putting in double the workload just to have a chance for monetization on Snapchat Spotlight now. And for a lot of smaller creators, this method is not feasible because their time would be much better spent if they focus only on one platform instead of trying to divide their efforts among a bunch of different platforms. But some of the other updates that were in this Snapchat Spotlight update was just some more information added to the taxes page. So if you do happen to get monetized on Snapchat Spotlight and you do get paid, you must remember that they do not take taxes out of the paycheck that you receive. So you have to set aside a percentage of the money that you receive from Snapchat Spotlight in order to pay the federal government in income taxes. For the United States, I have made videos on how to do this in the past, so check out my channel for that. But if you are in some other country, then I would definitely recommend contacting a professional so that you know exactly how much money you need to save from your Snapchat Spotlight payment. But with all that being said, let me know your thoughts on this Snapchat Spotlight update. Do you think that it is an app that creators should focus on, or do you think that their limitations are much too strict for the type of platform that they are? I personally think that monetization should be as easy as possible to encourage creators to get on there more, and then maybe they'll be able to compete with TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook as far as people's go-to for short-form content. But if you found value in this video, then hit that subscribe button as I do make a lot of other videos about side hustles, investing, and how to make money online. And if you do want to stick around for those videos, I will see you in the next one, guys.